Do Republicans have a good answer to address the border crisis other than busing migrants to liberal cities? Ooh, a little dig there, Ted, a little... <laughs> Cookies in it, 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 It's actually very simple, which is secure the border, and when you apprehend someone, send them home. When, when Joe Biden started, we had the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. Wow. And he came in and he immediately reimposed catch and release, and it produced the worst rate of illegal immigration in our nation's history. I, I spent a lot of time at the border. I go out on midnight patrol with border patrol agents. Really? Pro many times. You, you should come. I'll, I'll actually bring you, you if you're in the field. Yeah, he don't know how I feel to be in that field. Yeah. He ever been in that field. We've been at the border, Bill. Yeah, you ain't been at the border. You want to talk these policies, boy? He'd be the first one saying that's a racist thing to do, but it'd be racist to say that those people could be criminals, but then you don't want to go. You're scared. What are you scared of? You ain't see the little what girl. Are you scared of? Oh, no. What are you scared of? He's pushing the agenda. I thought they, we already know this, bro. He said it out of his own mouth. <laughs> oh, I'm playing a character. <laughs> Sitting there did. smoking a J, and y'all take this man like he... Just, he ain't never just, been to the border, but... He ain't say, see a man get hooked on the barbed wire fence. Yeah, we did see that. You ain't seen a little girl drown in the water. She didn't drown. She she was in that deep water. She looked like she was she, drowning. She definitely could have. She definitely could have. Yeah, you see that? Like if Border Patrol that. wasn't there, she definitely could have. Oh, just open the borders. And they just gave them some bag of chips like it's okay. Midnight patrol with Border Patrol agents. Really? Pro many times. You, you should come. I'll, I'll actually bring you if you're interested no, in... <laughs> <laughs> if you He's scared of exactly. No, no. I, I Go to Eagle Bear. Actually, Bill, if you saw what was happening, you uh, would be horrified because the people being abused by the traffickers... Uh, uh, you don't understand it till you see it firsthand, and it is, it is immoral what's happening at our southern border. I take your word. Okay. I don't have to go. Um. <laughs> but, but it is easy I, to I'll fix man, because man. what actually works just is we had an agreement with Mexico that was called the Remain in Mexico Agreement, which says that if someone crossed into Mexico illegally from typically Central or South America, they would remain in Mexico while their uh, asylum case was proceeding in the U.S., and the numbers plummeted. We had the lowest rate, as I said, in 45 years. And then Biden came in and ripped that international agreement we to shreds. Talk about that. And that's we what that. produced okay. now 8.4 million okay. illegal aliens since Biden's been president. Boy, I walked right into that one. <laughs> I walked in. He want to be a comedian still. He want to play around. You know, man, he's not he taking this shit serious. Country, bro. Yeah, he's not taking this shit serious enough, bro. I think, bro, the fact that he said he he's scared to go there speaks yeah. for itself. It does. You're for having to come in, but you're scared to go there. We're not there where you live. You know what? This is what we going to do, y'all. We going to pack up a bunch of them immigrants this here and we just gonna drop him off at his house, bro. We, See, we they your... need to live with you. Yeah, let we... him in. I know you got a big house. I know you got a big house. Let nah. him live with you. We, Two we, or three of them. We, we should do that, bro. We Feed should. Them. We should get a van them. and drop them off. And said the government said they had a right to be on your property, your land. And if you say they don't can't live in your house, you're a racist. And we're gonna arrest you <laughs> if you don't. Yeah, they. You know, crazy. Like, am I tweaking? But I feel like conservatives would be nicer to the immigrants than what some liberals would be. Yeah, bro. They got nah, better hospitality. Some, some conservatives. Some, be, but, you know. Yeah, cause he's, uh, like, he's a dickhead. Well, we know the Hollywood people that screaming, let open the border. They for sure ain't letting them in. He don't even want to go to the border. He just proved it. He don't even like immigrants. He just scared. puts it right there. He's scared. He's, he's scared. scared of them, bro. He's, he's just scared of them. Because I feel like it's a lot of conservatives. <laughs> he's xenophobic. That are compassionate oh, yeah, about. that's what I was looking I was trying to think of what it was. I feel like they're compassionate about people, but that we just know that we can't have an open border to I, protect I think, ourselves. I, I, no I, country I think, has I think, open border. I think a lot of it is virtue signaling. They just try to sound virtuous and mm -hmm. moral. Make themselves feel better. By trying to be better. accepting of others without realizing that it's a detriment consequences. to yourself. And your so, family. And and you know, the way they, they're afraid of all these labels and, and titles that people put on people they're gonna call you a bigot you know things like that just to uh cement their point if you don't agree well to be a man i'm gonna be a bigot bro i don't oh, wow. like bill but uh, that would be a good video interesting choice of words B there. get bill at the border that would be extreme bill at the good. border that would be a good video man bill i'm Martin telling you at the border i'm telling y'all we yeah, just man. dropped the immigrants I, off I, his I, house i, I don't think funny. i would want to hang out with bill Maher. It seems i don't like either, a, but it seems kind of like a, a smug ass we could just troll him who you'd rather be around bill go. or B biden at the border Bill. He said, who would I rather be around Bill? I don't know. Yeah, I would troll sure. both of them, though. I don't want to be around Biden. He I'm just, here. Joe Biden seems like a...
stupid old man. Like, he would piss me off. <laughs> I'm funny, like, bro. Just like, what, like, what are you doing over here? Uh, stupid, stupid people are man. funny sometimes. Yeah, so. but stupid old people? I'm a, I'm that's like ask, a double whammy. I'm going to ask Biden. I'm be like, who your plug? That's like a double his whammy. Son. Yeah, I'm going to say, who your plug? It's his son. <laughs> I ain't going to hit this around his head like this. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Come on, let's see. It's another clip. But the fact is that, look, we should not be locking people up. We should be making sure we change the circumstance as we did, why they would leave in the first place. And those who come <laughs> seeking asylum, we should immediately have the capacity to absorb them, keep them safe until they can be heard. A, a 15 Pause. second if, you, could, if you wish to answer. Pause. So he told, us, he told us what he was about. He used yeah. certain verbiage to non-demonize him so people would he, victimize him. They would, uh, uh, what's the term when you like? Like look at somebody as a victim where they were like I don't know they use a, vic a victim have time. pity yeah they would have pity for them oh they're just seeking asylum they're not illegal they're trying they're kind of come to a better place and seek a better yeah, life that's their justification for it mm -hmm. then he said he wants to he wants to build a capacity for them so in order to build the capacity for them they take our tax dollars while we live while Americans live that's in struggle crazy. with the consequence and our tax dollars let them get a benefit and a leg up on us because we pay for them to live here for free. They get free housing. They get to be citizens and to reap all the benefits of being Americans while we pay for it. And there's systemic racism but because he told us he's going to do it. He and made it sound we, we also he stood on his word. He sounds. I see what he told us what he was about. We, That's why people call in front of our faces this whole time. That's yeah, why they yeah. say Obama talking to him in an uh, earpiece. No, he's made it sound so good because it was like, well, they should be heard. These people are in a bad situation. See, they try, they try, they, you know, the thing I'm starting to notice is that they use certain verbiage to justify what they really want to do. And they use that same verbiage to flip it around on you. If you if you disagree with it, they have more verbs and titles and words they slap on you. So it's all weaponized and, and strategized I against can't. you if you use your common sense and pull the mask back. They'll be like, well, if you don't agree that they're asylum seekers, then you're a xenophobic bigot and you're <laughs> racist. Well, I guess so. And you got you're using Nazi rhetoric. You're using boom. We're seeing through that playbook. But I, we are, bro, because hey, we're seeing through that playbook. I'm the best up here through seeing through this shit, boy. When, when New York City people came they out offense, there, like my, my defense better than their offense. They they said they they asked AOC. So like, what are we gonna do about this? She said the best thing we should do right now is just give them their citizenship. Yeah. They're, they're trying to get so more. Like, they're trying to get they more. They just them here with so, no so, solution so, for so them this, to go So so we see we see their playbook, right? We see their playbook, right? And their offense is attacking our defense because in their offense they have all these words, which is these trick plays and whatnot, xenophobic, racism, that was good. isms, phobias, um, systemic um, bigots, racism, systemic racism, Nazi rhetoric. Oh, they got all type of trick plays. They be having that 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 Philly. What's it called? The the, the Philly push. Philly special. The, no no no. What's the push? They be do the tush push. Oh, the tush they push. They be getting to the goal line, hitting that tush push. Boy. You know what's funny? They can't though? play with me. I'm Bill Belichick. I see through this shit, man. The words for the black people. That's the thing, though. And if you and they got words for everybody. As a white man, you're a Nazi, you're a racist. And if you're black and you say you self hating, you're, you're a self hating black, black person, person. You're a coon. You're a coon. Trans you're a boot licker. Oh, they got words for you, boy. You're a, you're a pawn for the Republican Party. You're a pawn for the Republican Party. They're using you. You're a grifter. Oh boy. How they, they, just good. they got all they, they weaponize these words, and this is why liberals think they smart because they use these words and it makes them feel smart. But, but really, it's all bullshit because if you have a phobia of something, that means you have a fear of it. But if, so you if, have I, to... if, I'm, if I'm not afraid of them and I have no problem with them, I just have a problem with them being given a leg up with my tax dollars. Well, I have to deal with all the consequences, the inflation. I have to pay to live, pay for them to live and pay for myself to live as well. And I deal. They get free housing and all this stuff. Where's my free housing? Where's my? Where, where, I've been here my whole life. I was born here. I, mean, if I, I ain't got no free house. If, if they have to use words to go around what they're really trying to say and not keep it straightforward, then that's a problem. Oh, brother, no. Because if you don't agree, then you're you're the bigot. problem. You're, you're the problem. You're the problem. And if you but, don't speak up, so I, but I'm violence. right. But I'm right, and you're using that verb, so you're going around. Well, you, see, you, see, right. you see how they, they try to they try to villainize and demonize but, the, the the having some common sense. Like if you have a nationalist mentality and you want to preserve your way of life and protect yourself by being an American citizen because you were born here and you see a problem with those who weren't born here getting benefits that you as someone who was born here and paid taxes and never did anything wrong in your life doesn't get you, you, you. They have a labels for you, and they slap labels on you, and demonize, and villainize, and criticize you, and beat you down, beat you into sub submission. What did Vivek say? I won't bend the knee to your new religion mm. because this is very obvious what they're doing. 
It's very obvious. They have a playbook. It's been in front of us the whole time. And if you don't agree, there's a word for you. That's the thing about religion, but though. Like you could just tell people like, are being beaten into submission, and you know, and you know, people are starting to wake up because they're starting to see that it's not fair that they get tax dollar, uh, get to live up our tax dollars while we struggle and we can't own anything. We can't own homes because inflation's high as hell. You can't own uh, a car because uh, inflation's uh, uh, interest rates is high as hell. Uh, taxes through the roof. And then they take the taxes and they give it to them for free and they get free living and free money and, and, and they can break laws and not be deported. You can't justify that shit. You can't do any of that shit, You can't brother. justify that. And you was born here. Well, they do justify it because it's Nazi but, but rhetoric. Thing, but You're Nazi thing, rhetoric. You're a crazy conspiracy serious right-winger Nazi rhetoric and racist what makes and xenophobic the person is, bigot what, if you don't agree. But what makes the wrong is they're not being straightforward. If you have to go around something, then you know it's not right. If I have to tell you something and I know I have to Word put it this certain, certain type of way, then I know that I'm not right for what I'm saying. That's why like, I don't. Like, that's like when your girl, hold on, hold on. This, is, this, is, this is how they justify it. They justify it as being a, 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 a liberal, accepting person, but being wrong. progressive. Yeah, we see that it's wrong, bro. That's but the how fact can that, that be? matters. Because it's wrong because it negatively affects us as citizens. That's like a, when so, a girl asks you to uh, date her and you have to tell her reason why you can't. This, that's yeah, why I'm not mad. Carefully worded. That's why I'm not mad at Bill because he he's not he's he's kind of he's not exposing, but like he just keeps it real. He just be like, well, I walked in and now we basically telling us that this is a game, this is a joke. That's why I'm not mad at Bill. Joy sits there and be like, well, then she actually has something for everything. She can go around. I don't like Joy. See, like, Joy is Bill? a race better. So, Joy, she Joy plays this exact same playbook, but she does it under the guise of it's white people against black and brown. But when you people. live in a white people, that's, that's like going that's going all the way around. No, no, she, that's she, why she, she, she always. Like, she always comes at white people and conservatives, and she always says it's it's conservatives and Republicans and right wingers against black and brown people. That's how she paints it up, and she's so good she's at that because people are blue, black and brown people see Let's this see and they eat it up because they're stupid she's and they don't really think for themselves. That's why so when the they're being spoon fed this nonsense, they start to have a common enemy: Republicans, right wingers, white people. That's what Joy Reid. That that's makes that's her not a good Reece, person. Uh, is and all she's this not shit. a good person. None of these people. To me, she's not a good that's person, bro. She's grifting for money, and, and, and we y'all, see it. We y'all see y'all it. Y'all in my real eyes time. I said about the devil shit. Like, if you know some of this, if you're going around to get your agenda, I think that you're not a good person. You know, uh, at the end of the day, we have to realize that all, all, of the, all these going people, all of these people are playing the game here, and uh, I just won't be. I won't uh, play the game. You know, I'm just gonna listen to what everyone has to say and pick the right person for the job. And right now. Seems like people like Vivek and, and and DT outsiders who don't play the political game and, and bend the knee to this agenda are the right money. guys. Yeah. I mean, if you I don't mean, need their money, they can't control you, so they're not gonna let you. They're gonna do their hardest to not let you in the country because you're not a puppet master. You know, you know, you're not and, a puppet. and 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 I think insane. that I think that there's definitely bad eggs on both sides. But nah, when you really nah, listen, nah, when you really there listen, is, nah, it might be bad, egg, bad eggs people, on people. I ain't gonna no, lie, might be some well, politicians that's bad. But what I'm saying is too bad. No politician, bro. no politician is somebody you should hang your hat on to think but, you're coming to save. The love, I'm just the love is too bad. Bro. Like the love is bad, news. but there's definitely bad people on both sides. Bro, but this oh, is the thing, though. I ain't never seen no shit with people David. Are mad, doing. Okay, look though. People are mad at the media coming. It's like look, CNN and Fox News. But let, from what we've seen on YouTube. CNN goes all the way around. They do. Fox News might go around a little bit. Yeah, they a might couple go times. Around. They might just push the net. But it's bit. more but rare. CNN is going all the way around to push yeah, their net. They, 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 That's why I'm not mad at Bill. Because like his, his line is like, but people like Joy and Don is way out here. Bill just, he cut me. At least Bill told us. Know, he said, yeah, I'm just playing the character. I walked, I walked into that one. Dude. I'm playing the character. <laughs> well, so how you feeling? I got to say this, y'all, so I can keep my job. No, they got- took my job. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Bill, that's why I'm not as mad at Bill, but he's definitely one of those people, man. He's oh. bought and paid for. I've been thinking about that all the time. Like, bro, you, we, 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 we realize, bro, <laughs> we realize this already. Everybody that's on TV that, that can reach a mass audience, they're all pushing this left agenda. Name one conservative on TV. Name one. Name one. Name one. That's According to your family. Though. That's also you know, a problem. On TV. I would love to be on TV. No, but if I, I said love, that was I, a problem, I, though. I would love to be on TV and get on there and wake people up. I think we would have a TV's great... dying. I think that's we would have a great freaking uh, that's why TV's response dying. to what we but have to They say. said that the Republican, I think we Republican would. Party isn't putting money behind doing something like that. And that's a fact. That's a fact. So that's why it's like... This not so why aren't we? I don't know. That's what OT said that, too. Remember, that's why Vivek said we should have Tucker Carlson, Joe Rogan. This had way more viewership so we can push, uh, you know, with, with the right narrative, basically. Bro, I think I think I think if someone it. like Joe Rogan got on TV, it would change. It, it would be groundbreaking for any network he get on. Joe Rogan is they really the best at what he does. There. Imagine Joe Rogan, right? His same setup on like a, a Netflix or, or or HBO Max level production. 
Like, look, think of the last Netflix original movie you saw. It was crazy good. Now imagine Joe Rogan on something mm-hmm. crazy like that. Yeah, it's to the point where like, people were it, even it, surprised. It would, it, would, it would be so good, like it would it would disrupt their narrative because of the turnout and influence he would have. We're not putting money behind it though. You so know they're, they're afraid. Do. You know we but, can't do nothing about it. We can't do nothing about it. I don't know. I don't know why. We can do what we're doing I, right I don't now. Know why? I wish people would put money. People are it. leaving cable TV anyway. Bro, it's too expensive. There's too many commercials. Everybody knows there's narratives being pushed. That's why everybody's but narratives coming to be pushed. Narratives being pushed on Netflix. No, that's why I said people are coming to YouTube. Hey, bro, but guess like what? Us. They're putting money Rumble. behind it, bro. Yeah, we not. You, you, you want you got to pay to play, but it, we not. We ain't paying to play. And that's a problem. We and that's a problem. That. We do got to. TV's play. dying. Though, somebody, y'all. somebody has to take charge. Hey, if you want to show in ten years, family show, put us on TV. I promise you. Elon, Elon, TV. Elon, Elon did what he can do, baby. I promise you, we gonna change the game. Elon trying to cop Disney. He did what he could do. Elon's not big behind us. Elon is doing a lot of Elon, big put things. that bag up. That's one thing he you. did. At the time, I remember just thinking like, oh, Elon Musk bought Twitter. And I didn't understand the depth of it. But now that I understand the free speech and all this, and that he said that 75% of what the right was saying was being censored, and how I used to think, and a lot of, pretty much, I would say 90% of the information I got about the world growing up, like, probably from, like, eighth grade to, like, through college, was from Twitter. And the fact that 75% Twitter, TV, I used to vote. I'm, I'm not going to lie, coming, like, I never watched the news. My I got parents, all my, my stuff on Twitter. watched the news, bro. I the fact that, that it was getting so just swayed one way for me to think one way and it really worked I thought one way simply because of that it shows how important it was for Elon Musk to do that I mean yeah Elon definitely was a turning point but I think I think our definitely our biggest like thing for us was definitely getting on here and doing our own research when you really really get on here and take a look at it for yourself like when, once someone told me like look they're trying to get you to think a certain way once I started really watching seeing shit and forming my own opinion and then watching and seeing what they're trying to tell me so I can think a certain way. I'm like, if someone else, and this is their first source of getting news, and you see them trying to get you to think a certain way, and you haven't watched it and formed your own opinion you outside could. of it, you're going to think a certain way. Because people, bro, people watch the news to think they're getting informed. What did, what did Denzel say? You watch the news and think you're getting informed, I, but really you're missing. I think the problem is, is I don't know if I've heard this before. That, and said That's a fact. I think a lot of people left, people on that left, like Bill Gates, people like Bill, these Hollywood at least people, they are on the left and they have the money to push that narrative. Duh. So that's why bro, the Republican that's, that's, side isn't really getting hurt. Like there's rich people, bro. No, there but you are. get canceled. If you say these things but on they, the right, they're more no, conservative no, no, it's not with that, their bro. money. Like they probably it's not even that. It's not the money thing to me. It's the fact that on the right, if you speak the truth, if you say I don't agree with trans, I don't agree with these things, they cancel you. Bro, so it's not like they cancel you. They cancel you because you can't. They cancel you because. There's so much money behind this liberal agenda that they yeah, can that, they that can too. cancel you. They can that they too. can afford it's to cancel money. you. Like it's a money Black game, ball. bro. Like it, it, yeah. it, when people it, when it, I saw it, people it, were hating on Jordan Peterson, I was like, okay, that's insanity. And it's okay for people to shit on Christianity because it's a white person's religion. So anything against white people, yeah. I'm, I'm that's noticed, okay I'm with y'all. There's a, a big uh, uh, a lot of narratives in Hollywood and movies and, and culture and stuff where people just like show like a, a obvious disdain for Christianity. But I've never seen a movie. Where they do that with any other religion? They don't. They won't because mind. it's not a white. It, it, you, it's not predominantly white in America. So yeah. you know, well, I, I feel like if, if if more people had more backlash for this, you know, I've noticed a lot of liberals and people on the left they show like that disdain for Christianity, and then people speak up. They're like, well, why are you crying? Why are you being a baby about it? But <laughs> when the roles are reversed and you don't agree with something that they resonate with, oh, you're a figure. They oh, learn how to go that. around in that circle. Bro, it's just, it's just, it's just nonsense for me. So like me, we see being, it through it. me being who I am and what I stand for, I just can't get with what they got going on. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for We're it. We're gonna y'all. save America, guys. We're out of here.